I found something under the sticker label on my Huck 1992 VHS. What was the Print uh, uh what the what is the week of uh, week in your cup? Print in the twenty sixth week of nineteen ninety two. It says C C T V on there. It does have something under the sticker label. So it means it has the white screen death and the moon at the end. So you can to see it closely. But you, I, I peeled the label. It's 144 minutes, so it is a two-hour movie. I did check if it had something or the sticker label. It did. Yep, it actually does have the something or the sticker label. And let me show you my land before time VHS. And this is what the case looks like. Yep, this is what the actual case of the tape looks like. So it did it did have a white screen death and moaning sound in the end like Frank Tappy as copy. Like Frank Tappy as copy of this tape. Like somebody does have the copy at the moaning sound only at the end. Somebody did the closing to Hook 1992 VHS. I noticed it had the moaning sound only. It did not have the barcode over here. Because it's too... Because it... It's too... Squarish. So it's like it cannot fit on that bottom. And this is what the film looks like over there. Alright, so I actually found that one of those uh, film uh, that had those black film on my tape. A black film. But these, some of these have black film on it, so I mean, the video comes up actually. It had the same uh, one of my tapes like my VHS copy of The Land Before Time. And, and some of them are not really lying dead. So, see, some of them have black film. Well, just let me rewind my tape for a second. Let me show you right now. Or maybe like this uh, thing that, that means some of them are long. Right there, some of them have numbers. I have to uh, move the reel for a second. It was a, it was a little bit immovable. And yep, some of them are long. I did check on my No Girls Allowed 1989 VHS. I did check on my Berenstain Bears No Girls Allowed 1989 Canadian VHS tape. And uh, my old copy did have the white screen death, the silent version of this tape. But. Early after this uh, white thing, and it's attached to the tape, where it belongs. So when the movie is long, or the tape is short, and and maybe the tape is maybe an EP mode, EP and SLP mode, EP SLP mode, or maybe, and I think this is an SL EP SLP mode. So it is a EPSLP mode copy. So I think this is one of my uh, EPSLP mode VHS tapes that actually have one of those things on it. But some of my tapes were in SP mode. Is this one? Uh, that one's in SP mode. The bit, the messy room. Yes, it does not have the little red bars, white screen of death. With the top and bottom red bars, just for a reason. It did. I didn't rip off the barcode on this one because I did check the ending. They had nothing except the white screen death, the red bars. Either though, I finally uh, got this one. It did have a different box.
And yep. So yeah. Some of one of my films. I'm gonna share the field of dream beat just right now. <laughs> And just wanted to pray to you, and there, here it is. It did, when I checked the ending, it did have static. Because it's just a, it had nothing at the end. Well, it was sealed when I got it. The sticker label was in bad shape, so I printed the label out instead. On the label, it said "Nancy Universal on Video, Nancy Universal on Video, Nancy Universal Video." <coughs> it is a EP mode copy of this tape. We I got six minutes left because it's got to be as again be actually long. So I'll show the film right now. Except it's not long either. It's longer on my Land Before Time 1995 VHS. Just see, that's ninety one on there. It does not have the white screen death, clicking tone, or the white screen death or moaning sound again. It's a, I think it's a nineteen eighty eight film. Focus. There we go. I think it's a nineteen eighty eight film. 98 Universal Studios and 19 and New Drive Productions. Like one, I did check if it had something already super labeled on the original 1990 HS of the Land Before Time. But it did have the box. I didn't, I did, I did got that from Habitat. Yep, it did have something already super labeled too. So that means it has the white screen death and moaning at the end. So it actually may be a 1990 VHS. So I actually may find another copy. So we have to donate this copy. So it's actually caseless. I just wanted to find the box. So I just got the cover instead. <coughs> On like the uh, ones that have numbers, like if I has two Paramount release at Board Explorer, swing into action, print in the 60 of 2002. See, it says 22 because I've got because my battery's low right now, it is 15 percent. My troll with friends. VHS. What? And the uh, sticker labeled in bad shape, so I may have to find another copy of the trouble with friends. I did rip off the label. It did have a Mandela effect on the end label. Wait, it did have the Mandela effect on the label. Point days, July 20th, 1989. See, it did actually add the barcode. So I did rip off the barcode myself. Let me rewind it for a second. This one looks like it's faded, but well, I did actually try if it had something as the last copy. Sure, if you have the last copy of existence, if you have the last copy, if you have a film clip that's a little fake. And just let me know in the comments if you had a copy of the Troll of Friends.
except that it was like that. Except that did have the VHS of No Girls Allowed before, and then I had the book version. It did add stickers inside. It may have it, maybe a 2012 reprint. It's not. It's perfectly fine. It's not broken. I didn't fill in the words.